Today we're looking at the Wagner Thermal Quiet Ceramic Brake Pads and uh, let's take a look. Let's open the box. Inside we have some directions and they talk about uh, the various different brake pads and what to do with them. Now here's a nice touch. It comes with stainless steel replacement glides. This is something uh, my old uh, previous set that I bought, the AC Delco Advantage I bought, there, just pieces of junk, didn't have. And you see how nicely they're packed. They put them all uh, heavy duty plastic so they're not rattling around so they don't get damaged. And that's something else that the AC Delcos I had uh, didn't have. Uh, like I say, I bought some AC Delco Advantage brake pads and I'm really unhappy with them. And I'm just going to take them out and throw them away. Uh, because, uh, you know, they kind of make noise, and uh, uh, I don't know, I just don't like them. Let's take a look at some of these things. I got them out of the box. The back's nice, nicely painted. I guess they have what they call integrated shims. So you can kind of see this area here, uh, this raised area. This is the shim, and it's all glued on and painted and bonded, so you don't have to mess with that. That was a uh, Something I really disliked on the old brake pads I bought, the AC Delcos. They just had some sort of clip-on shim and it wasn't glued on there and it, it was just really a piece of junk. Looking at the pad material, you can kind of see there's copper. Let me see if I can get the, the right thing so you can see the, the copper. But there is a bunch of copper in there and of course my old AC Delcos had copper in there too. So, I mean, uh, it says all ceramic. But uh, I guess it didn't mean it wasn't metallic, it's just non-ferrous. So, well, I don't know. I guess that's maybe a little disappointing. I wonder if that's maybe a cheaper ceramic material than some of the really expensive brake pads. And then they have what they call the laser etching, to where you can see this chamfer on the, on the side there. It's all chamfered uh, back to where uh, I guess the, they feel that that's a, a good thing. And they did it with laser, so it must be good. So... Uh, Anyway, the next step here is, is to install these things on the car. We have to take a look at these stainless steel slides. That's a nice touch. Uh, most brake pads don't give you a new brake hardware. So uh, I am pretty happy about that. Here are the prime choice rotors I got. These are the cheapest rotors I could find on Amazon. $25 with free shipping. So let's take a look at these babies. I, they, were, they were all wrapped up in plastic. They're looking really good. And so what I did is I sprayed a little, just to see, I mean they have a nice finish on them, they look really nice. I sprayed a little bit of cleaner on here and, and put it around. And uh, I don't know, there, there doesn't seem to be much oil on them, they look pretty good. They look uh, pretty darn nice on the inside. Looks pretty nicely finished. The, the cross hatching looks really nice. And like I say, they weren't covered in grease and oil, although I still think it's good practice to clean them off with a little cleaner first. But hey, for the cheapest ones, uh, they, they look pretty nice.